Hi, this is Doug Schneider. Welcome back to Real Hi-Fi. Today, I want to give some basic speaker setup advice and answer to a common question. How much should I tow my speakers in or possibly out? Now, I want to begin by defining what tow in and tow out mean. They're simple concepts. When you tow in a pair of speakers, what it means is you're pointing them more directly at the listening position. Towing them out means you're directing them away from the listening position. And when people say they have no toe in or toe out, that means they're pointing straight ahead in the room. The other thing to know is there's no right or wrong answer to this because it's unique to every situation. Because it depends on the design of the speakers in use. It depends on the room they're played in. It depends on your ears, your music. No two situations are the same. But what I can tell you is what's happening when you tow in and tow out speakers so you can better set up your system. And here's the crux of it. In a traditional forward-firing loudspeaker like I have here, and like most of you have, that's who I'm directing this information to, most of the energy gets directed in front of the speaker. And you see this in measurements. Because what happens is you get the highest amplitude or volume level across all frequencies directly in front. But what's happening off axis, in other words, to the sides of the speaker, is that the energy is diminishing. Now, not so much in the bass because bass frequencies are really long. And that's why the lowest frequencies tend to radiate omnidirectionally in the room. But in the mid-range, and particularly the high frequencies they really start tailing off. They're going down in amplitude. In other words, they're getting lower in volume level. So what's happening is pretty obvious. When the speakers are directly pointing at the listening position, the highest level of higher frequency content is going directly at the listener. So the speakers will sound their brightest. The imaging might also improve because With more high-frequency information at a higher level, we tend to localize things better. And as you position the speakers so they're pointing away from the listening position, then that higher-frequency level goes down, the speaker becomes less bright, imaging can suffer, and the higher frequencies that go in front of the speaker are going more out in the room. They will hit the listener at some point, but reflected. So what can you take from all this? Experiment. That's the only way to find out how to position your speakers in your room for your taste. But I can tell you this. I've never found a case where I've told the speakers out so much that they're kind of firing into the walls of the room. Though some have. I have had many cases though where I've pointed the speakers directly into the room. And those speakers, when I look at the measurements, have tremendous off-axis response in that the highs really aren't diminishing much as you get to the sides, and it takes a long way before the highs start coming down. They sound too bright usually if they're pointed more at the listening position, so straight into the room. But more often than not, like with the Mission 770, I put some toe in in there, maybe directing them straight at the listener, never beyond that. But I have seen people go beyond that. The late Ken Ishiwata of Morantz used to set up speakers so that they kind of crossed in front of the listener. They weren't just directly at the listener. They were a little past. And you're getting into off axis again. And that will change how the sound also reflects in the room. Like I keep saying, there's no right or wrong answer. You have to experiment. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. Thank you.